Microbes are tiny living organisms such as bacteria, fungi and viruses. Some microbes make us sick, others are important for our health. Antimicrobial resistance, or AMR for short, occurs when drugs such as antibiotics are no longer able to kill or inhibit microbes when needed. Developing resistance is a natural process, but the overuse of drugs has contributed to the acceleration of antimicrobial resistance. Our environment plays a key role in the development of AMR as it can act as a pool or a reservoir of resistant microbes. Antimicrobials can also enter our environment after use by humans, livestock and the release of waste from drug manufacturing sites. Humans, animals and plants are then exposed to antimicrobials and resistant microbes. This exposure can impact on human, animal and plant health. Our India UK programme tackling antimicrobial resistance in the environment consists of five projects and is designed to better understand the contribution of environmental pollution from antimicrobial manufacturing waste, determine concentrations of antimicrobials that select for resistance, investigate transport and fate of antimicrobials and resistant microbes in our environment, develop and validate globally relevant methods and tools for detection, and determine the impact on human and animal health. Some areas of interest across these projects include chemical and microbial tests that will allow us to better understand the amount of antimicrobial drugs in the environment across India. These tests will also help us to improve our understanding of how antimicrobial resistance can develop. Using and developing models as a novel means of predicting future AMR developments and as a tool for offering advice to stakeholders. Field testing of developed biosensors to aid the detection of antimicrobial resistant microbes on test sites quickly and easily. In this programme, we have brought our projects together and are working jointly to deliver common methods, policy reviews, reports and stakeholder engagement activities. We aim to combine our findings in order to maximise the impact of our results. This work is being supported through funding from NERC in the UK and the Department of Biotechnology in India.